what's up you guys? It's your boy Ty Tun and in today's story time I have the most awkward story to tell you guys. When I tell you this story was so freaking awkward I wanted to literally die. I literally wanted to die. I'd rather had been dead than be in that situation. <laughs> Maybe I'm being a little bit too over dramatic but like it was so awkward. So recently, I got my hair cut, as you can see. I don't know if you can tell because it's already starting to grow out. I need to get it recut again. But I got my hair cut recently, and I was debating on whether to tell this story because I still have to go back there to get my hair cut again. I haven't found, like, a new place to get my hair cut. So I'm going to have to go back there. Hopefully none of the barbers that work at that barbershop see this video. But if they do, hi, I'm sorry. I just had to get this off my chest. <laughs> But anyways, this story time is going to be about the most awkward barbershop experience I've ever had in my entire life. I know I keep saying that, but guys, it was so traumatizing. <laughs> But before I get into today's story, I'm going to need you guys to give this video a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to become part of the Thai fam, and ring that notification bell so you can get notified every time I post. And don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and on Instagram at T-Y-E underscore T-U-N. And with all that being said, let's get into today's story time. <laughs> So like I said, I had got my hair cut recently at this barber shop, and the reason I even went there in the first place is because my hair was just getting a little bit too crazy. You guys know I color my hair a lot, and I needed to look a certain way for the colors to look good. Um, I went there because this place was very safe. Um, they're very clean. Everybody always wears their mask. You have to like book an appointment to even get in there and you never have to come in contact with anybody except for your barber who only touches you with like the clippers. He's not like hugging you or shaking your hand or nothing like that. But I felt safe going there so I decided to go there. I wish I never did. So I booked my appointment to go to this barber shop and this is my third time there. Um, I just want to throw that out there just to let you guys know that they know who I am. Like they're familiar enough with me to know who I am if that makes sense um so the day comes for my appointment and I head over to the barbershop now when I get to the barbershop I see the guy that's supposed to cut my hair and he's not like super friendly normally he is very friendly but that day something was a little bit like off about him he seemed very like down and sad but I didn't think anything of it sometimes he talks to me about situations going on in his life so I figured once I get into his chair he'll probably tell me all about it and he did <laughs> So once he gets finished cutting somebody else's head, he like sanitizes a chair and everything like that and he calls me over to sit in his chair. So I go over, I sit in his chair and he tells me like, hey, I'll be back. I just need to use the bathroom. Give me like two minutes. I'm like, okay, sure, whatever. Go do your thing. I'm not pressed. I want to get my hair cut, but I'm not pressed. So I'm sitting in the chair waiting for him to come back and I'm just overhearing all the other employees in the barbershop talking about their personal business. Now, I don't know if you guys know, well, if you're a boy, you know, but for all the girls watching me anyway. When you're in a barber shop, all they talk about most of the time are like girls and the things they've done with them and hooking up and cheating on their wives and cheating on their families and things like that. I'm so dead serious, they really do do that. All of them are just like horrible people. Well, to be honest, they're all straight men. So they're not that great to begin with. But anyways, I was overhearing their conversation about like these girls. So I'm just sitting there, kind of uncomfortable, because I hate when people talk about women in, like, a derogatory way. It just, like, upsets me for some reason. Well, it should upset everybody, but, like, it really upsets me. I hate it. So basically, I'm just sitting there, super uncomfortable, listening to everybody talk about the girls they're hooking up with. And finally, my barber comes out of the bathroom, and he starts walking over to me. But he looks really sad, so I'm like, hey, like, what's wrong? Is everything okay? And he was like, bruh, like, this is, like, a horrible day for me. Like, I'm just having, I'm just going through it. I'm just really going through it. So I was like, what was wrong? Well, the first thing he told me out of his mouth was actually sad. He was like, well, last night, my cousin got shot, and, like, 
We don't even know if like he's okay. He's in the hospital right now. And I'm like, dang, that sucks. But then the next thing he said was just so random. I didn't even need to hear this information. It made me feel like uncomfortable. He was like, also last night I was cheating on my wife and then her boyfriend walked in as we were doing it. And I was like, <laughs> okay. Like I didn't know what to say to that because he has a wife and kids. So I was like, so you were cheating on your wife and she was cheating on her boyfriend or husband or fiance or whatever the guy was why why do people feel the need to cheat if you feel the need to cheat on your spouse or your partner or whoever you want to call it, your significant other don't be with them it's time to break up maybe time to get a divorce maybe something i don't know y'all don't need to be together if that's your mindset so then he starts describing the girl he cheated on his wife with and he was like she was so bad she had a nice body i was really giving it to her and it was so awkward, but then he started degrading this poor girl, talking about her cheating on her boyfriend, saying she ain't, you know, she ain't shit. I don't like cursing. <laughs> but he was saying she wasn't worth nothing. This is why females are all messed up. All they want to do is cheat and sleep around on their boyfriends and partners, but then they want to talk about men like we're the scumbags. And I was sitting there like, you literally have a wife and kids at home. You're just as bad as her, if not worse, because you, you're cheating on your whole family. This girl, from my knowledge, doesn't even have kids. This is just her boyfriend that she's cheating on, but you're cheating on your entire family, sir. Get it together. So that conversation had ended, and I was like, thank God. Finally, he's going to cut my hair. I'm going to be out of here in like 15 minutes, whatever. But no, he overhears everybody else in the shop talking about all the girls they have hooked up with. And for some reason, this sparked him to tell me about the girls he's hooking up with. He literally sat there for like 20 minutes before even touching my head before even touching my head, telling me about all these girls he hooked up with, what he's done to them, the places, the places he's, why can't I talk? <laughs> the places that he has hooked up with them, saying that he's hooked up with girls in the barbershop, his car, and his house, their house, the park, like all these random spots and all these wild, crazy stories. I was just sitting there so awkward, like, I don't want to hear about the girls you hook up with. So this is the thing too. I don't know if they know. They have to know. I'm gay. I don't want to hear about the girls you hook up with. That, that's not something I just want to hear. I don't think anybody in general wants to hear about the girls you hook up with. Mind you guys, he's like late 50s. He has to be almost 60 years old. There's no reason for you to have this type of like mentality and have this type of behavior. You know what I mean? But anyways, regardless, I'm gay. I don't want to hear about that. And I, this is my third time there. This is why I said in the beginning, this is my third time there. Y'all should know me well enough. They know me by name. Y'all should know me well enough to know that I'm gay. I never physically told them and maybe they're just being polite to not assume that I am, but they're straight men, they're rude, you know what I'm saying? So like, they should know that I'm gay. After having one conversation with me and hearing my voice and seeing all my mannerisms, they should be like, oh, this boy is gay. You know what I'm saying? So finally, he finishes telling me about all the girls he hooked up with and all the places they'd done things at. And I'm like, okay, finally. He starts cutting my hair. He starts cutting my hair and he brings it up again. And he's like, I don't want you to think that I only get ugly girls because I actually get some real baddies. Like, first of all, sir, you're 60. You should not be using the word baddies. He pulls out his phone. He goes on to Instagram and he starts showing me like pictures of girls that he has hooked up with. And he's like, look at this one. Look at that one. Phone to my face. I'm in the barber chair. Phone in my face like this. I can't turn my head or nothing. He's literally holding the phone right here, this close to my face. Like, what, the, what else am I supposed to look at? So then, eventually, he comes to this one girl's Instagram, and she was really pretty. She had to be at least... I want to say she was in her early 20s. She looked really young. And he was just like, oh, she's coming from out of state, and when she gets here, we're going to hook up. I'm going to get her a nice little hotel room, and I'm going to meet her there. I think he's like a sugar daddy type thing. But, yeah, he was just telling me, like, about how he's going to meet up with her. 
So he goes, isn't she pretty? Like, well, first of all, he was like, isn't she a baddie? Ain't she bad? Look at her face. And I was like, yeah, she's really pretty. Mm-hmm. She's really pretty. And then he was like, wait till you see her body. So I'm thinking he's going to scroll down on her Instagram to show me like a picture of her in her bikini or something like that. Or maybe like a nice dress that she's like a fitted dress. Now, he gets out of Instagram goes over to his text message thread and shows me a picture that she sent him. I feel so sorry for this girl. I'm so sorry he did this to you, miss. He showed me a picture of her nudie booties. Her body, undressed, nothing on it, nothing was covered. Her face was in it and everything. She had a really nice body, by the way. I wish my body looked like that. But... Regardless, it was super inappropriate, so like I didn't know what to say or how to respond to that, so I was just sitting there like, oh, okay, nice, you got it like that, that's cool, like get the get that camera out of my face, get that camera out of my face. So then he gets out of that text message thread and he's like, let me just show you one more girl, I just want to show you one more girl. So he goes to his text message, like a different text message thread, and he scrolls over, he's scrolling down, he comes across a picture of a girl and she's in a car and she's dressed normally, she looks decent, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh, she's really pretty. It was a normal, normal picture, really pretty girl. And <laughs> he goes, wait till you see her body. So I already knew what he was about to do. But in my head, I was like, okay, he's just going to show me one more nega picture. He said this was the last one. He scrolls down the text message thread. It's not a picture. It's a video. <laughs> he clicks on the video. It's a video this girl sent him. Sorry, I thought somebody was outside my window. That is so creepy. It was a video that this girl had sent him privately not to be shared with anybody else that's wrong on so many levels there's so many things wrong with this guy on so many levels but i'm not gonna get into all that it was a video of her booty 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 butt neggy nothing on shaking her butt in the camera like twerking in the camera I'm, I'm sorry, this is so trauma. Her butt was so close to, her butt was like this in the camera and she was shaking it or like twerking it and it was literally, literally clapping and making loud noise. Loud noise, that booty clap was loud. But not only, not only was her butt in the camera, but the way the camera was like positioned, I saw her booty, 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 and then I saw her private her little her little flower her delicate flower that her delicate flower that should not be shared with anybody that she is not sharing it with sir you belong in jail um but yeah and that made me so uncomfortable you guys i was so traumatized <laughs> i had no idea what to say again facing in the freaking phone like this and i'm just like Oh my god. And he's like, yeah, she bad, ain't she? She bad, ain't she? And I was just sitting there like, I, oh my, like, I, I guess so. I didn't even know what to say. I think I literally was like, oh wow. That's all I could say was like, oh wow. What is wrong with people? I'm so, that upset me so much. First of all, you should not be sharing anybody's private videos, images, text messages, whatever, with anybody. Those were specifically for you, not to be shared with anybody else. And he showed it to me, so just think about how many people he had shared it with. Like, guys are so... I know I'm a boy, but guys are so straight ones. Disgusting disgusting what makes you think I want to get my hair cut and sit there getting my hair cut looking at girls you hooked up with nudes nudie booties picture nudie booties videos I don't want to see that sir I'm gay I'm pretty sure even if I wasn't gay that would make me uncomfortable like I don't know if you're a straight man comment down in the comment section below but with that, wouldn't that make you uncomfortable? Just imagine sitting in a chair about to get your hair done and the person they're about to do your hair is holding their phone up to your face like this, so freaking close, scrolling through videos and pictures of people they hooked up with.
And they're not just like face pictures, they're freaking, there's fuzz everywhere. And they're not just face pictures, there's, they're literally nudie booties. Nudie booties! Disgusting. Disgusting. So, I just want to say, that's pretty much the whole story. He After that, he cut my hair. He did an okay job. I'm, I'm definitely going to go back there one last time before I find a new barbershop. Maybe I won't, because just in case they see this video, I probably won't. But I just want to say, don't send... If you are going to send your pictures and your things to people, that's your choice. It's your body. If you really want to do that, go ahead. But just a word of advice, don't put your face in it. Because if I was that type of person, I saw the girl's Instagram, the first girl. I saw her Instagram. I knew her name. I saw her images. Uh, just imagine if I was like a scummy behind person. I could be like, yo, bro, send that to my phone. And then I would have had this girl's nudes in my phone. You know what I'm saying? So don't send, especially with your face in it. If you're going to send it, don't put your face in it. Trust me. Number one rule, do not put your face in it. And don't send it to anyone that you're not sure that you can 100% trust. And I'm sure that these girls sending him these videos and, and pictures and things thought that they could trust him 100% to not share it with anybody. But like I said, he shared it with me, and I'm a gay man. So just imagine how many people actually seen these girls, you know, in these intimate moments. It's really, it's really kind of disgusting. It's really frightful. It's really frightful. It's really frightening. It's disgusting. It's frightening. It's inappropriate. It's rude. I'm pretty sure it's illegal. Like, you can't do that. It's in it. I think it's called something. I don't think I can say the word on YouTube, but it's called something when you do that. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole story. He finished cutting my hair. I went home, traumatized, called my friends, gave them all the tea, told them what happened. They were traumatized for me, and it was just a lot. Like, you don't do that. I just don't understand what made him think that like, that was okay to do. What? Like, I straight men are so weird. Especially the ones that work in barbershops. Like, I don't understand the mindset. I don't understand the mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't get it. I don't get it. It's one thing to talk about it with people. Like, all the things that you've done. It's kind of inappropriate. But it's one thing. Especially in, like, a work setting. But barbershops are different. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> it's one thing to, like, talk about it. But then it's another thing to go out of your way to expose these girls pictures and videos with people now i'm starting to ramble and i don't want to do that i've been recording for about 30 minutes so i'm just going to wrap this up and say like i said earlier if you are going to send pictures and videos to people just make sure your vi your face is not in it <laughs> just please make sure your face is not in it because you really can't trust anybody clearly people just run around showing and exposing people's nudes like it's nothing like it's not a bad thing to do like it's normal so if you are gonna do it just don't put your face in it i don't put my face in them but i only send mine to one man my man <laughs> so I, if i get exposed i know exactly where they're coming from <laughs> but anyways i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next youtube video i know i say this all the time but i'm really trying to post a lot more um, because I think I've only posted, this will be only my second time posting this whole month. And the month is almost over. I'm going to try to squeeze two more videos in, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye! Love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the story. More to come. Mwah. <laughs>